going on guys purple thumper here bringing you part two of the tr purples triple nuke um those of you ha that have watched part one you know that um right now i just currently got the ac-130 so i'm laying down now to call it in um for those of you who haven't watched part one for whatever reason and you're just watching part two first um it's a demo match on a state uh it's the purples and i triple nuke in a team I get a nuke, Purple Nuker gets a nuke, and Purple Spooner get a, gets a nuke. So, here, this is the start of part two. Um, I think it's the second round, somewhere like halfway through the second round or something like that. Um, you can see there, just got done with the AC-130, did not get the nuke in it. Um, I do, however, get the nuke here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm using the you know Bling M16. Red dot sight on the silencer. Um, stop and power ninja. And then secondary weapon is, uh, I believe, the silence Rafika. With FMJ on it, I think, also. Something like that. But I think that's a mistake that I made in part one. I said they were Kimbo, but it turns out it's uh, not on this class. I only had one. So, sorry about that. But anyway, back to the gameplay um, here. We actually which I don't necessarily know if this is a good idea but on this map of state when you play demo you wanna when you're defending you wanna make sure they don't get A no matter what you know they that they never get A because number one that's basically right next to your spawn so it's much easier to defend than B but for whatever reason we're finding it easier to spawn trap these guys and to really control them better by giving them A and camping out B, which I don't really advise doing unless you're playing against a team that's not very good. Right here you can see I think they only have four guys right now, but um, they do eventually get a couple more. But yeah, we actually let them have A, and uh, we're just camping out and holding B right now. I'm waiting, I think, for this round to end, but oh, then they actually... I was waiting for the round to end so I could um replenish my ammo, you know, start off fresh. But they actually get B planted. Which is what we were actually we wanted them to do. That's why I actually ran around, well, ran away. Sorry, I ran away because we're up one round of nothing already. We wanted to let them plant B. Fortunately, they did with only I think like 10 seconds left or something like that in the round. So um, they wouldn't have managed to do that. I don't, you know, this wouldn't have happened. I'm not sure. I don't. Nuker might have a nuke by now. Or wait, let's see. Um, think nuke or spooner they might have their nukes by now i obviously don't yet but fortunately they did plant that and we let them destroy it um so here i do believe we let them have a again i think but um i'm only i think maybe like five four or five kills away from the nuke so i always if you ever seen any of my commentaries my philosophy is what i like to do is i always like to i like to watch b when we play on a state um, I'm rarely ever over at A. You don't see me over there a lot. Um, B is normally where I watch, and that's just because, you know, I normally watch B on this map, and, you know, someone else watches A. This is just the, the bomb site that I prefer to watch. I like sitting up here and, and camping and shooting down towards their spawn down below. And there you see right there, I've got the nuke. So that is one nuke. Um... I honestly can't tell you guys if Nuke or Spooner have the Nuke already. I think one of them at least has it. Because I think, for some reason, I vaguely remember at this point in time saying, yeah, that's awesome, you know, we double nuked them. But, um, somebody's Harriers are coming in right now. Can't remember whose they are. But, as far as team goes, it's obviously myself, Spooner, and Purple Nuker, of course. And then, uh, Hurlitzer, Hurlitz is in here. And um, he actually has recently changed his name. He's now purple. He's um, he's purple Hurlitzer. And um, that's four. I can't honestly remember who the other two guys on our team is. I'm sorry. One might actually be Purple Shroomer. But yeah, I just can't. It's been so long. You know, it's been over a month since I've since this gameplay happened. Since now that I'm doing the commentary. So sorry that I can't remember about that guys. But here we go. You can see again we gave him A first, which. If you're taking this philosophy, you better make sure you're good. You've got a good team, and you've got good teamwork, and that their team's just bad, because 
you know, the last thing you want to do is give them A. So we're kind of doing everything backwards here on this map. But we all, we were having a good, pretty easy time keeping them camped out and keeping them where we wanted them by just holding off B. If you're, you know, you're trying to get a lot of kills and get a nuke, you want the other team to be out in open spaces. And they're going to be out more in the open if they're going for B rather than if they're rushing A. Because if they do get an A, they're in the estate, then they're going to cause you problems. You're going to end up getting killed. So as far as nukes go, if you're trying to double or triple nuke a team with your team, um, much easier to, if you can, give them A and keep them at B. Because they have to run up this hill here. They can basically only come from two directions if you're defending B. Up that hill that I just ran down and from A, from the estate. So if you got three guys watching that hill top and then you know or even four and then two guys watching that side over by the estate they're never gonna be able to get up there or get in from the side it's just not gonna happen if you got a decent team and um you see here i've picked up an mp5k which i rarely ever use <laughs> but um picked it up just kind of goofing off i think actually poor purple splinter i think he uh i think he joins in uh, soon on the other team actually and uh, he didn't have a clue what was going on but um yeah I think that was him right there who actually killed me but yeah it was um it was it was funny because he doesn't have a clue what's going on he didn't know he knew I think when the match is all over he knew that I had the nuke but he didn't know that Spooner and Nuker also had a nuke but anyway you can see I'm running around here just trying to get that guy, I don't know how. How I killed him, he had pain pills, he was trying to attack knife me. But uh pick up a silence P ninety, I believe. Which I don't really I don't really use that often. Um the only SMG that I actually use would be the the ump. Uh, I don't really touch the MP five K or the Vector or the P ninety much at all. But um you see I'm just kinda I already know I have the nuke. I'm not trying to to double nuke him here. Just because I'm trying to, we're trying to get, you know, a triple nuke going of three different people. In my opinion, I think, I think if I would get a double nuke, two nukes myself in one game, I don't think that's as impressive as if I get a nuke and Spooner gets a nuke in the same game. Because that's just showing you that we've got good teamwork, that we can, two members on our team can get a nuke each. I mean, if you look at a lot of the matches on um, on the Machinima Respawn page or on YouTube in general of guys double nuking by themselves, a lot of them are guys playing ground war that are just camp in the back with a noob tube or camp in the back, you know, and just get it on their own without really helping their teammates out. And um, anyway, here I like, I mean, if this match is cool to me because I like the fact that three different players on our team were able to get nukes. So you can see we've got a good, strong, balanced team you know, and we're really helping each other out and stuff like that. There you can see um, Spooner calls in his nuke. I'm trying to call in mine. It doesn't work. Purple Nuker also has one. So there is part two of the Purple's triple nuke. I get one myself. Spooner calls his in and Nuker has one in his pocket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and um, who knows, maybe sometime in the future we can get you guys a quad nuke or something, but thanks a lot, guys. Keep watching.